Well, for the second time in a month, a farmer in Pendleton County is trying to figure out who shot and killed his livestock. This time, a 23-month-old bull was the target, bringing the total number of cows killed down to three. Brad Underwood reports tonight from Falmouth. As these cattle graze in the sun, Marvin Dawson wonders why someone would shoot and kill his only bull. I think there's something wrong with him myself, but that's just my opinion. Last week, Dawson came back to the farm after buying sawdust and found the 23-month-old shorthorn in the field. I went over to the barn to get the tractor and stuff so we could unload the sawdust, and I seen him laying right down there dead, and I knew he was dead. But it wasn't alarming for Dawson. Sometimes cattle just die. We ate supper, and I said, well, I got to go drag him out because it's supposed to rain tonight. And I went down there, and that's when I noticed that he'd been shot. Where was he shot? Kind of in the right eye there. It was a head shot. A head shot, similar to kill shots fired at show cattle just a few weeks ago in Butler, less than 10 miles away. Mr. Dawson believes his bull was shot from this gravel road where I'm standing. It's not far from where the cattle is hanging out today. The only difference between this shooting and the one that happened last month, there were no shell casings found at this scene. KSP did recover a shell casing from the Butler shooting where two of 13-year-old Kylie Klein's show cattle were shot and killed. It takes a special person to do something like that, I think. As for the shorthorn bull, Dawson got two calves out of him, and likely more, as most of these cows are pregnant. The bull's value is about $2,500, making the murder a Class C felony. As for Dawson, he's moving on. I went yesterday and looked at another one. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to have one. You know, if I'm going to keep the cows and keep raising calves, I'm going to have to have another bull. In Falmouth. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Kentucky State Police haven't officially linked the two cattle shootings, but they say it is a possibility. If you have information about either case, call the police, Kentucky State Police, 859-428-1212.